Yesterday, my nephew called me very excited. He had gotten admission to study statistics. I asked him why he was so happy about his statistics admission. He replied, Auntie, I am going to be rich. I have always known that boy to be very ambitious, but not a get rich quick type. So I asked him, how can you be really rich by studying statistics? He replied, because statistics would help me to understand and play the stock market. Really? What concerns statistics with stock markets? A be soldier, don't want farmer. He said, Auntie, I will make money by calculating things about companies. The stock market is a playground of the really rich people in the world. I am not talking about people that are ordinarily rich, you know, like that your neighbor with five cars and two houses. I am talking about the Dangotes, the Jehovias, Otelola, and the Gates of this world. The stock market is somewhere they all have in common. Aliko Dangote, for instance, is a former vice president of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. But my understanding of the stock market in Nigeria is that this is a place where people lose money. Anyways, I had time to kill. So I decided to do some little research into this excitement. Wow, my mind blew. The stock market refers to the collection of markets and exchanges where the issuing and trading of equities or stocks of publicly held companies, bonds, and other classes of securities take place. In Nigeria, this is primarily the Nigeria Stock Exchange, which was established in 1960. So, I did some digging into the NSE, as it's popularly called, and discovered that it is mostly measured using what they call the All Share Index, ASI which is basically another way of stating the average of the companies on the stock exchange. The All Share Index as of January 3rd, 1984 was 100. It reached its highest ever peak of 66,371.20 on March 3rd, 2008, and as of this week, hovers around 40,000. So I stopped to consider something. From 1960 to 2008, Nigeria had over five military coups, a civil war, over 20 serious ethnic and religious crises, and decades of military rule. Yet, the All Share Index grew from 100 to 60,000. So what has happened in the last few years to keep it stagnated? I checked. It's not a true reflection of the state of the Nigerian economy. There is this statistic called the market capitalization to GDP ratio, which is arrived at by dividing the total value of publicly traded stocks by GDP. The lower it is, the more likely that market is a hidden diamond. For instance, a market cap of 1,000 naira with a GDP of same amount will give you a ratio of 100%, which is around the globally expected standard. Now, the US has a stock market to GDP ratio of 171%. South Africa has this 240%. Nigeria's stock market to GDP ratio is 8% in virtual golden market. You see where this is going. I have a master's in development studies and a PhD in sociology, and research is my work. I am therefore challenged to carry out a little journey into the Nigerian stock exchange. To the average person, it looks like financial markets are so opaque and confusing. But I'm sure it's not that hard to find out what's going on. If there is one thing I have learned out of my little research, it is this. The stock market is not a place for get rich quick plans. No, it's not. It is for intelligent and hardworking investors. So I would like you to come along with me on this journey. You can tweet questions for the CEO of the Nigeria Stock Exchange with a hashtag NSC invest and as usual leave your comments below or send them to my email chiwe at chiwe research.com thank you